everyone, welcome to Country Farmhouse Quilting. I'm Marnay and today I have a very special video to show you. Um, today it's all about Polly's quilts. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Polly. Polly has um, become a special friend to me. She is from she is from Iowa and she has mailed me in some quilts. Um, she makes quilts for a nursing home and they are lap quilts. And uh, this week she has sent me seven quilts. These quilts are amazing and they're very simple in design and I think they would be great for me to show you and tell you about the quilting that we put on them and a little bit about the quilts and how simple they are and they would be easy to do and easy to use up your scraps. So the first one I'm going to tell you about, this one behind me, this one is not a donation quilt. This one is actually for her father and I call this the Farmer's Nine Patch. Um, I love the simplistic um, designs of this because you can see she uses the dark and the lights, light, dark, light, and they are in a nine patch square. Um, these are probably about three inch blocks um, and she has like a two and a half inch sashing um, in between all the blocks. So you can see all these blocks are, you know, simple with the light and darks, so the browns and the beige, very simple. Um, you could do this. Um, we did a meander quilting on it. This is what she requested for this quilt, very simple. Um, and we did a light um, beige thread. So the back of this quilt, she has this nice um, navy looking um, backing with uh, the nice little stars on it. So very, very nice quilt for her father. Okay, next we have um, this quilt here, and I like to refer to this as a crisscross quilt. Um, the fabrics in this were given to Polly by another quilter. And Polly, being as creative as she is, has put these, these scraps of fabric, and I believe these are one and a half inch strips. This is another great block that you can do with your scraps. Very simple. So your one and a half inch strips into, see she's got seven um, strips in here, and she's got them vertical and horizontal into these nice little colors. And I can see that she's matched like the colors, the two, the three on the outside are matching in and then an accent color in the middle in all of them. And this right here I thought was really sweet. It has a little patch on it. This just reminds me of grandma's quilts or like a prairie style. I love the colors in this. The colors really make it interesting. And we decided to put a, um, Paisley feather quilting design on this and it is done in a, in a light green thread or a spearmint thread, spearmint thread. <laughs> um, just absolutely beautiful and it just makes you look for all the little details in this design. It just turned out really nice and she did a Kona white backing on this and you can really, really see the designs of the Paisley feathers in this. Just turned out absolutely beautiful. Somebody's really going to enjoy this quilt. So let's get on to the next one. Okay, this is a beauty here. And this one was really fun to name it and um, pick out a pattern. I really love the designs in this. And you can see this is all two and a half inch squares. Very simple design. And she did the light, dark, light, dark. And you, you can see that how she's put these together. And it almost reminded me of like lattice, um, especially with the red tones and, and the lighter tones in here. It made me think of like a cherry coffee cake or <laughs> I don't know. Um, just very pretty. So we decided to put a cherry design in our stitching. And the cherry design we did in a variegated thread so you can, it really highlights a lot of the stitching in it. Um, I love the red border around this. It just makes me think of grandma's, um, you know, the lattice cherry pie or the lattice cherry coffee cake. That's what it makes me think of. Very simple design, but stitching really adds that extra element of design to this and just gives it personality. The back on this was really cool because um, she did the white Kona backing and she also did this red accent strip in the middle. And you can really see the cherries in the variegated colors on the back, which really gives this little lap quilt personality. Very beautiful. So on to the next one. Okay, so this one is a very interesting quilt. Again, this reminds me of like a prairie design. The design was simple. It looks to be like two and a half inch squares or maybe two. 
I think you could do any size square you want to make this kind of design, but she sewed all the squares into a row and then she bordered each row with um, the brown fabric that really just makes this quilt nice. And she uh, told me about this quilt that she saw like land or um, I'm not sure what she put on here. She sees farmland. So I, I definitely um, had a time to pick out a, a pattern for this, but when I found the pattern, um, I found a crop and I like the idea of putting a crop in here. So we have some corn stalks that we put in here and corn grows in rows. And I think this is very fitting because it will be for a man. Um, we wish we would have used maybe a more contrasting thread, but if you can see in here, you can see the little corn cobs and the corn, um, the corn stalks in the pattern. And this one, I like to call it where the corn grows because I love how the rows, because corn grows in rows. And I just thought it was very interesting. So this one is kind of the, the one that you have to look for the details in the design. Um, I really I really love the design of her blocks, but I love the, the camouflage of the corn in here. And it reminds her of earth and the dirt and things that grow. And on the back, she has this really interesting um, backing on here. This was a batik uh, backing. And it is very earthy as well. So this, this quilt would be for a man and probably a farmer that, you know, got his hands dirty, you know, and it, it takes you back to the farm life of, you know, running your tractor and planting corn and watching the corn grow. This was just a very interesting and fun quilt. So we'll get on to the next one. So this quilt here, Polly told me that this reminds her of grandma and grandma, indeed, it reminds me of. But when I see this quilt, I saw far, the, the, the fall harvest apple pie. <laughs> and the reason why I thought of apple pie is because the shapes that she chose in here remind me of slices of apple pie. And the reds in here remind me of the apples, the green for the leaves, the browns for the apple pie crust. Um, the blues remind me of grandma's dress or maybe grandma's apron. But I think this is a really, really cool quilt and I had fun with this one and we decided to put a apple um, quilting on this, which I absolutely love with the apples and the leaves and, and the shapes. It just reminds me of a good old fashioned apple pie. And the backing on this was done in, in a prairie style, a little paisley and the apple pie or the apple shapes on it really um, shine through nicely on the back. So Polly, I really love this quilt. All right, Polly, it's hard to choose a favorite, but this one reminds me of grandma as well. And the reason I really thought this one reminds me of grandma, because I love how you've done the strips and you've taken the square block and you've kind of did two long strips and two short strips to do around your square here. I'm guessing this is probably about a five inch square you know, so you could make this block very, another very simple uh, to way to use up s string scraps. <laughs> but this reminds me of grandma's apron strings because of the colors and the simple uh, patterns in the design and the white squares remind me of grandma's apron pocket. So we chose this button design in the quilting to put on this because grandma always had buttons and she saved them. And I'm thinking that maybe grandma put buttons in her pockets. So just a really fun design. We chose a yellow thread for the quilting. And I just love this. I love the simplicity of it, the colorfulness and its beauty. And the backing was done in the Kona white and you can really see the buttons shine through on the backing. Okay. All right, Polly, last but not least, this quilt um, was just really cool. I love the four patches that are framed in by uh, one single fabric. This is another simple, easy design. I love the browns and the, and the, and the golden yellows, and it just kind of reminds you of like prairie days as well. And I know that this is going to be for a man. So we decided to name this the Cowboy Square Dance Under the Stormy Skies. And I uh, did a cowboy hat and cowboy boot design on this with the little swirls because it kind of makes you feel like you're just dancing around it, you know? Um, very, very uh, cool design. And we did this in a light tan thread. And on the back, this is where it really shines. You've got your stormy sky 
and you can really see the cowboys uh, dance all over the back of this quilt. Love the colors. Just a very simple, beautiful quilt for a man, and I'm sure that he'll reminisce about his dancing days in his cowboy boots and hat. And I hope you enjoy uh, this little skit on Polly's quilts. Thank you, Polly, for letting us be a part of your um, your designs for your quilts and letting us quilt them for you. And I'm really hoping that the people that these get these quilts will really enjoy them. Um, it's it's so much fun for us to to do this for you and pick out designs and really put personality on these quilts. So if you enjoyed our video. Please like, please subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned on this channel for what we have upcoming next.